Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm going to give you some really helpful tips when you are creating color palettes, and then we're gonna jump right into Figma and do it ourselves. So when we're looking to create a color palette, we need to follow some proper color harmony. So using the color theory formulas, basically those color schemes that I showed you before. Now I love coolers.co, it really helps with generating harmonious color palettes if you need it. It's just a great resource. There's a bunch of other resources out there like Adobe has one. I mean, there are resources even in, within Figma, like plugins that will help you create color palettes. And, you know, we'll get into those later. But if you need help, there are definitely resources out there to help you actually come up with some ideas for color palettes. You should always know that your colors should be scalable and additive within your color system for your UI. We need to make sure to always have multiple shades of gray and low saturated colors to work with. There should be some sort of systematic pattern in place that can be added to as your color system grows. In this case, we see that each hue over here has its own kind of palette or mini palette that can be expanded on when needed. This could be my main palette over here and I can get darker variations of that, you know, for accessibility reasons or just I have a lot more flexibility within my interface. You don't necessarily need to stick to maybe like the three or four brand colors that you may have or your brand may have. You have to build off of that in order to make a really great user interface. I think one of the big things is to always kind of tint your grays and your blacks. With a hint of your brand color, it adds a little bit more depth to your blacks and grays. And if you leave them untouched, it could come off as too harsh. You know, sometimes you could add a little bit of blue. I mean, this could be a little bit too light if you want something really dark. But if you look at this gray, if you add a little bit of blue to this gray, it just looks that much better and it matches your brand much better. And the last tip that I have that is pretty huge is that you have to be aware of the contrast between colors. Contrast helps with proper visual hierarchy like we have here, like a headline and a subheadline. I touched upon this a little earlier in terms of wanting to read a darker color before you read a lighter color. And it's also a big part of ensuring accessibility. There are a couple tools that we can use to check like contrast ratios of our colors. Colorable is a great web tool that you can use just to get like a quick glimpse of what is accessible if you just type in two colors in terms of like a foreground and a background. And it'll definitely tell you if it is accessible. And there's a bunch of resources within Figma that we can take a look at when we're creating our own color palette. Those are some really helpful tips that you can use when you start creating and you know building off of your color palettes. We're gonna jump into Figma next and do it ourselves.